Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to RFPW Fight Night, episode 5 of season 4 is here. My name is Joey Blight, your announcer for tonight. I will hope you will have a good and jolly night here. here. We started with our first matchup of the evening. I'm sorry that I wasn't there for the introduction of tonight's show. Got a little bit of audio issues, therefore we went on. Nice tornado is here but a debut and that's also a rookie Rue LaRue facing Dylan Bostic of course Dylan Bostic has been on a lo excuse me on a losing streak in the last couple of weeks and might that be another insult to his career if he loses to a new one to a new uh, to a rookie that comes into RFPW We'll have to follow as the night goes on, of course. Of course, this is RFPW XL night. For those watching live after fight night, will happen the main event. So make sure you stick tuned for that. We're launching all kinds of everything right now. Cool. There we go. Nice Russian leg sweep by Rula Rude there. And we're waiting all kinds of things that are seriously about to happen here tonight. We've also got some title matches going on on tonight. Tonight, fight night. Three titles on the line. The women's title. The EU title. And the RFPW title. The brand's most prominent title on the line. Where Harvey Anderson will face an unknown opponent with... The world champion, a former uh, four-time RFPW champion, Jeffrey, will be the special referee for that match. The opponent uh, scheduled to be announced as we go on during the night. So uh, please bear with us as we await to see who that will be. Dylan Bostic, will he go for the cover here? Just the one count. Oh, look at that. Turn around. Right there. As we will be doing a lot tonight. And I can announce that next week's fight night will consist of a total draft. That means the rosters will be mixed. And thus, uh, a lot will happen. Of course, you don't know what will happen yet. But next week, the rosters will scramble. And, about, and then, anything. Anything can happen. See now, oh, harsh dump. Oh, wow, nice move by Ruler Rue. You wouldn't have thought that would happen, but it has, it has, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, two count. It came very close, ladies and gentlemen, right there. Oh, damn. One, two, three. That's it. Dylan Bossix loses in another week. And Rue Rue, the rookie, gains his first victory here on RFW Fight Night. Congratulations, Rue Rue, For coming out here and taking the first victory in his early RFPW career. There's more to come, of course. So stick tuned as we will be right back after a short break. And then we'll have another matchup coming on tonight's fight night.
And here we go. The following match is a Divas match. It's scheduled for one fall. Introducing first one half of the women's tag team champions, Katy Mays. Katy Mays, of course, winning the vacant women's tag titles with her partner, Honaka Anderson. Not at this week's, but past week's. Women's Night Out, just before the Pink Crusade pay-per-view. Oh my goodness, flames. Flames are sticking out. So what's more to come tonight? I don't know yet. We can never argue facts. The fact is, since this week, we have our youngest champion in RFW history, Curtis Norman, taking the Dutch title at only surprising 18 years old course in history first one to become that was Jeffrey Forta, former RFPW champion and world champion who will be the special referee tonight for the RFPW championship match between, Kurt, between I should say not Curtis Norman between Harvey Anderson and a surprise opponent but let's take a look at one of the top single women's contenders she's the glamazon champion the cartwheeling champion we call her it's Ariella Wolf, and thus that makes this match a champion versus champion match. Roll through, and does another cartwheel, and she's ready. And the second match of Fortnite no, does is on the way. Into the corner, Katy Mays goes. Dropped into the other corner. Now, oh, can it? Oh, nice power slam. Always those nice power slams. And if you're watching live on Hitbox, thank you very much for tuning in tonight. Always a pleasure to see that. Something we are always checking out, and that's a lot that we have to check out on a nightly basis. There we go. Oh no, let's take a look at that. Ariella Wolf, Katy Mays dropped into the corner again. And now what? Is it time for a second tonight DDT match? It is. We can state so far that Ruler Roo did it's an ADT and won the match. So might that go as well for Ariel Wolf, the Glamazon champion, or will one half of the women's tag team champions Katy Mays come out with a victory champion vs champion match going on right now? And if you're new watching this live, you are watching most certainly this on the RFW Network or YouTube channel. Make sure to subscribe as well as just watching the videos to help us support. Oh man, dumped hard. Body to body suplex by Katy Mays. Oh, look at that. Nicely done. One. Just a one count. Yes. Oh man, dropped hard. One, just a one count. And really, you will be surprised, I can guarantee you that. Tonight, with, as said, a women's title match, an EU title match as well as an RFPW title match. Great matchups coming up tonight.
Nice moves by Ariel Wolf. Oh, dropped hard. Katima is getting back up. Oh, just getting one. Barely. She tried. Oh, dropped hard. Two. Hmm. Very close. Right there. Oh wow, what a kick to the back. Don't know whether you really want that. Oh no. Might just be it. Oh, good night. I think that's it. Two. Oh no, sleep a hold. Sleep a hold. Boy, Ariel the Wolf applied onto Katy Mays. It just might be it. No, let's go. I wouldn't have expected that, but still. Oh, nearly two count. And of course, everything tonight that will be going down. And if you will support us, whether it be subscriptions, followings, donations, it all helps us as Ariella Wolf gets the victory over Katy Mays. Well done. And of course, for our subscribers, we have an extra additional feature that you could be watching on our second channel with a very, very optional second split screen camera where you can watch what we are taping for our next shows. Backstage segment and everything, you name it. That's what you can get if you subscribe. Let's meet the opponent of course this match for the women's title of course introducing first a women's champion Lady Soko <laughs> Lady Soko held the title at last pay-per-view RFPW Pain Crusade but uh, if she didn't, she would have been fired, but she held really nicely onto it in our second pay-per-view of this year. And she defeated Melanie Gray to it. She became a new champion after she beat Victoria and sent her packing. But here comes her opponent, and she's not the least, not, well, at least not the breeziest. She's the Disco Diva, Mia Jenkins. Somebody's gonna call her mama and tell her beer that she's in the RFPW Women's Championship matchup. And wake her up. We've got the tweeting tools out. In case we have a new champion, then we'll send the tweets out as we go along. Da, 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 
I love it. How cool would it be if she's the new women's champion? We would have disco balls all around the arena. That is what it's all about here tonight. The women's championship on the line. Now one of three title bats tonight. Me and Jenkins and Lady Circle very prepared. And thus here we go. Oh nicely done. My goodness me, what a kick. You know, you see a lot of kicks, but that one that we just saw was genetically different. That was great. And as we move on live to one of our shows, Mott Van Kunda has defeated Ryan the Gladiator. Was not in the RFW Arena, but very close nearby. Mert Van Kunda has defeated Ryan the Gladiator. Congratulations! As we have that live footage going on here tonight, while this women's championship match is raging onwards on Hitbox.tv slash the Raging Falcon, your RFPW channel. Well done. Ow. Ow. That's got to be hurtful. Man, oh man, oh man, come on! Someone is gonna crack open that knot with extra sheer power to keep this gang in a cage or some kind of it. I mean, come on. Yes! Russian leg sweep! It's what one of those nights. Oh man! Didn't know what that was. What I shared it with the elbow. Oh wow! Look at that! Nice move by the Disco Diva, Mia Jenkins. Of course, we had a Divas title, but that one was sacked in the retirement bin. But this Disco Diva gets it. Get this women's championship on her hands, it will certainly be, be more diverse. As nearby, in one of our other live shows, on our live events, of course, in a smaller venue, Zack Sabre Jr. is now facing. Oh my god, just look at that! We gotta interrupt that! Look at me and Jenkins! Oh, flat out! That just might be it. One. And in one of our live events just nearby, Zach Sabre Jr. will be facing the Angel Jahim. Not scheduled here tonight or on the main event. Look at this. Mia Jenkins wavering her up. Is this it? Oh, good night. Uh, she will be new, no, not new women's champion. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Lady Soko Kanarin. Dropping her hard. 
Now Lady Circle waving her up. She wants it and she wants it badly. No! My goodness me! That just might be it. Will Lady Circle retain? Two and three quarters. Mia Jenkins stays alive. Because I've got to watch dual screens at this show and at the live event. Oh my nearly god. One, two, two Canadiers. Jaheim is still brawling with Zach Sabre Jr. at one of the live events nearby. Also a nice crowd filling. Oh no! She's got her in the hold! Will Lady Circle tap? Will we have a new women's champion? Anything can happen here. This is way more important than what's going on at the live event at this stage of the match. Lady Circle forces out as that news will also be passed on to a live event. Getting the same commentary now as Zack Sabre Jr. is hammering away on Jaheim. Oh, Tom by Lady Soko. They've got the big screens at the live event so they can do watch it belly to belly suplex. Oh, and one. Just one count. Zack Sabre Jr. not anywhere near beating Jaheim for now. If you want to see that match, Zack Sabre Jr. versus Jaheim, you can. If you subscribe to us, you can now go watch our second channel so you can see that. Oh man, Tom Todd. Oh no, Mia Jenkins. Oh, good night. That might be it. That should be it. Is it it? We're going for the cover. One, two, three. Mia Jenkins. Mia Mia Jenkins in the replay. Let's take a look at some of those highlights. New RFPW Women's Champion. My goodness me. And that tweet has been sent out. We have a new Women's Champion. What a nice finisher to end it all. The new women's champion, Mia Jenkins, the Disco Diva. Congratulations. You see that Saxo Virginia is still blowing with Jean, but who cares? We have a new women's champion. Oh, and she can't overcome her emotion, but congratulations, Mia Jenkins. Zack Sabre Jr. has just done a Timson pile driver, but Jane kicks out due to road break. Next up, European Championship match. Michael Schenkenberg, European Champion, has got to deliver tonight once again. Zack Sabre Jr. now getting Jane in an arm breaker, but gets out. My goodness me, dual screen. Goes for not arm breaker, but is in the ropes. That's what you can't hear only on a second channel. But tonight it's Michael Schenkenberg versus. Oh my goodness, is Danny Valena. How fortunate is he to get another shot at a title? He was scheduled to go for the European title but then got injured and had to forfeit his chances but he's back and now he's getting a chance here tonight. How fortunate is he? And that trust certainly must do him quite well. I mean come on. He dreamed of this opportunity and now he gets it. Different champion was back then it was Alex Riley but now it's Michael Schenkenberg and does it matter no oh my goodness Zack Sabre Jr. has just counted a tombstone pile driver into one of his own no doesn't get the pin 
to him again in the ropes. Some really dirty ropes tactics. But of course, this is what it's all about on the main event show, Fight Night. It's the European title on the line while at a live event. Jaheim is facing Zack Sabre Jr. That just might be over. Jaheim takes the victory versus Zack Sabre Jr. at the live event. That means we can fully focus now on the European Championship match. Let's go. This is where the focus should be and that is where it will be. Oh man, nice kick. Well done. Oh, nice monkey flip. Jaheim is celebrating his victory at the live event. And also a good card of 500 overall. Not really specified that much, but good to see. Oh, and now what? And Danny Valena, Irish whipped. Oh man, the power bomb Schenkenberg hard onto the mat. Quite hard. Pretty unbelievable, wouldn't you say? Of course, our special referee for this bout is Thomas Kiesling. Not apparent at the women's title match as Jessica Tundo is absent due to a sly flu she has, and we don't want that to transcend. Ooh. Thomas Kiesling in the way, but that doesn't stop Danny Valena from getting the hammer onto Schenkenberg. Yes! Chance again, yes! And tonight, meanwhile, at the live event, we will be giving one Superstar or Diva Women Division Athlete a chance to face somebody for a title. At the live event, there will be a six-way ladder matchup to determine that. Of course, they can't be the Tag Team Champions or a current champion. Oh my goodness, what a power bump. And now it's will be facing at the next pay per view for either the Glamazons, women's title, or whatever title they choose on the male side. And we'll try to get that in as soon as we can. And I can tell you who it is in that six way ladder match at the live event. They will be. Oh, let's look at that. All star roster kind of in the women's division. For the women's division's uh, titles. The women's title and the Glamazon's title. It's Selena Oakberg, Nala Hanania, Uzo Neumann, Luca Ashtab, Melanie Grant, Ayam Inagishi. They will be facing off to get a shot at either the women's title or the Glamazon's title. But look at Schenkenberg. Oh man. He's not really nearly dominating, is he? So it might swing anyway. Oh goodness me. Danny Valle going for the cover. Two.
Danny Valena came very, very close there. So that means we don't have a six-way ladder match tonight at the live event. Determine the number one contender for any championship tonight in the women's division, but also in the male division. That will be coming up next at the live event. We'll be trying to gain footage as soon as we can of that. Yes, I know, I know. Let's take a look at that. Oh, and they're on the outside, but Thomas Keesing needs to get in and start counting. So this is a count out matchup. Of course, that's called the championship advantage. Retaining via count out and disqualification is possible. Losing the match, but retaining the title. Three. Oh my god, I didn't mean to say three. It was already at seven. Schenkenberg in the corner, and that's going to be really dangerous. Danny Valena hammering away. Oh no! He's in the hold! And he's tapped! That means, oh my goodness me! We have a new RFW European Champion. Congratulations, Danny Valeno, who's won the European title. Stick tuned, of course, for that m important main event where the world champion Jeffrey, Jeffrey, Jeffrey will supervise the RPW Championship bout between the general manager of fight and RPW champion Harvey Anderson. That will be very interesting to see. And here we go. Here he is, the former four-time RFW champion and current world champion not taking his title here on Fight Night tonight. Of course he's part of the Boom brand, he's Jeffrey. He will supervise that RFPW championship bout. Let's hope he won't have a bias against Harvey Anderson at one point, which he had to work with as general manager back then. Of course he is still the principal owner of the brand. Uh, FPW uh, promotion I should say but he will only supervise his back tonight as the special referee as world champion here he is introducing the general manager of fight night and current RFW champion former MMA wrestler Harvey Anderson Of course, Harvey Anderson he had to work with him as general manager of Boom back then. And we see I we see Ursula Neumann hanging on the case for that undecided championship matchup at the next pay-per-view. But got pulled down. That is also going on at a live event. Six-way women's division ladder match to become number one contender for any women's championship either that be the Glamazon title or the women's title or if really wanting to the women's tag team titles but for now we have this RFW championship match going on live and here is his opponent what are you kidding me hand picked and he should be by Jeffrey the man who beat him for his first RFW title win, who held the title for just under a day before Jeffrey retained, regained it from this man, it's Giovanni. Yes, you heard me correctly. Under a day, RFW champion won it from Jeffrey and lost it back to Jeffrey. And that current man is the special referee for tonight's world uh, RFW championship match, the world champion. 
what an unraveling story this will be. This basically is the principal owner and former general manager of Boom and current world champion and former forward time RFW champion supervising the bat of the man that beat him for the RFW title and who he got it back from in under a day versus the current RFW champion and general manager fighting at Harvey Anderson. A lot of info, a lot of details that this match take it in for you no matter how short no matter how long this has the ultimate story no this is should be a pay-per-view main event but it is here on fight night that shows the level of competitiveness that we want to offer you with RFW and with each and every show what a story is this as the six way ladder for the women's division number one contendership for any match goes on We see live on fight on the RFPW Championship match with the current world champion and principal owner of RFPW supervising that bout with the opponent of the RFPW champion, the man who beat the special referee for the RFPW title in the past and who he lost it back to for his second reign. So, this is the ultimate story. Unbelievable stories. And we are on the way. What a main event is going to be. I cannot you cannot underestimate this, it's going to be a perfect matchup. Unbelievable. Let's hope Jeffrey doesn't interfere and this will be a fair match. Look at that. Oh, what a chop by Giovanni. Will he become a two-time RFPW champion and will he hold it, hold it longer than a day? Is that question. This is so great to see that ultimate story coming together here on Fight Night. Where it all began on the 31st of March. 2014 nearly a year ago and how the circle is starting to come round oh my good what a neck breaker by RV Anderson of course former MMA fighter means anything can happen We see a lot going on in the six way ladder match as well for the women's division. Does anything can happen? But we are focusing on this RFW Championship match. In the corner, Kano does Harvey Anderson down. It's never a good sign to be down, nevertheless, to stay down. Harvey Anderson regaining his position. Oh, now Giovanni taking over in a trend of moves. Even countering what Harvey Anderson does. No cover so far. Giovanni now. Oh no, he's got the submission move locked in. Jeffrey looking on from a very far distance. Cannot be it, isn't it? As I'm looking dual screen of course the six way ladder match for the women's division for the shot at 
one of the women's division titles. But Harvey Anderson now for the cover. One. Just a one can Jeffrey. Was a little bit late with starting to count, but that wouldn't have been a three anyways. Oh no! No! Harsh! One! Two! And triple power bomb! That's gotta be it! That might be it! Is Giovanni the new RPW champion? No! Two count by Jeffrey! Good count! Oh no! Oh! What is this? F5! By Giovanni! That has Harvey Anderson down! And Giovanni is the new RFPW champion! Oh my goodness, what a show. Three title changes, but Giovanni is a two-time RFPW champion. And Harvey Anderson can start going back to focusing on his brand as he's lost the RFPW title. Jeffrey's done amazing covering work as a referee. Fair and square, Giovanni is the new RFPW champion. My name has been Joey Blight. Stick tuned for the main event. Good night.